All right, guys, time to discuss the most important chapter to date, One Piece 1066, The Will of Ohara. Now, if you click this video, it has spoilers in the thumbnail, so I don't want to hear it. Well, I'm just going to shoot straight from the cuff. We get the actual form of Vegapunk. We get the actual reveal of what happened on Ohara all those years ago. So let's just get right into it. I'm not showing any panels, by the way, because I'm not trying to get sued, straight up. So, Vegapunk's young body showed first in Ohara. He went there after, or we find out that he went there after the accident of Ohara. Dr. Clover getting killed and all that. We find out he was a colleague, a friend of Dr. Clover. Not only that, but Dragon shows up on the island too, and that's massive, but that's not as important as Vegapunk's big head mode. His head is like, like from forehead to the top of his head, it's like 20 feet long. The joint is crazy off the top. Now we know why he, he split his head into six bodies, because he got enough brain to go into probably a hundred bodies. Anyways, we find out another massive reveal that potentially the man marked by flame is none other than Jaguar D. Saul, who was not killed by Okiji. He was permafrosted just like Robin and Luffy were, but important, most importantly, he was not, I repeat, not fully killed by Okiji. Now, whether that was Okiji's intention or not remains to be seen, because, you know, immediately afterwards there was a buster call, so he could have just been thawed from the flames. Anyways. Big ass head mode. I am so happy we finally see Vegapunk's true body. Not only that, later on in the chapter, we actually get the reveal of what he looks like right now. Looking like Albert Einstein with his head cut off and like an apple, like top dealio sticking out from the top of it. Clearly, he performed some sort of crazy surgery on himself to split himself into the six satellite bodies of Vegapunk. Obviously, with the reveal of York and that she just eats, sleeps, and poops, we know why Vegapunk now, we can surmise, logically, Shaka, <laughs> why he put himself in the seven bodies. So his main body is just him being him, pursuing his goal of learning about the ancient kingdom. Number one, Shaka is there to straight up just be logic and keep all the other five bodies in check. Lilith is there to get money, and, you know, so on and so forth. You know, Vegapunk 3 and 4, Pythagoras and, Ed or Edison and Pythagoras, they're there to be the experimenters and the workhorses of the group, while you have uh, Wrath going around making sure all the work gets done by the island's robots and stuff like that. Meanwhile, um, Vegapunk 6, I think that's York, she's there to just eat, sleep, poop, all that good stuff. So... Another thing we learn is that a group of giants took the, the books from Ohara and took them to Elbaf. So literally the next arc is most likely confirmed to be Elbaf. And like my man Siv said on his spoiler cast, is that we're probably going to get a kid encounter. Um, moreover... Maybe this means that we won't see Law and Blackbeard, their resolution to their fight until after Elbaf, potentially. Which is a classic Oda move, and honestly, at this point, with all the amount of new information he's given us, I don't mind. But one thing here that I really hope happens is that Frankie and Vegapunk have a moment to study together, or for Vegapunk to teach Frankie a thing or two about science. I would really love that. I genuinely think that this is the true beginning, the true start of the final phase of One Piece. Sure, Egghead marked the start of the end, but no, this chapter right here, learning what we learned and everything about that coming forward, this is amazing. This is exactly what One Piece is about. The, the adventure, but also the reward. The reward of following characters for so long to get actual development build up all that good stuff but also the reward of learning things to the questions we had like for so long how long have we wanted to know how vegapunk looked like only to be revealed that it was a girl a little girl a small skinny hot girl and two robots and a cool daft punk looking dude you know we all knew that wasn't the real vegapunk so just get finally get him right now this is the time now if you're wondering where i got it from i got it from the reddit raw leaks and Hey, no shame in my game. I've been a fan for too long to be waiting till Sunday to get this stuff. 
as you can see, I spend a lot of money on loving One Piece. So I'm going to go ahead and do a spoiler video because I am very excited. This is exactly what I've always wanted out of One Piece. To tie up the loose ends and have a meaningful, truthful, and awesome reward for it. This is amazing. Let me know in the comments below how you felt if you looked at those spoilers already and looked at Vegapunk's face and whatnot. Let me know because for me, I busted out laughing immediately while also being like, why did, it, my, why did my head always go to big head mode? Why? And maybe that's what Oda has been implanting in our brains subconsciously because he's a genius like that, you know? Seriously, this is truly the end game. I'm very happy. This is probably one of the better chapters out of a string of amazing chapters since what 1057 and 8 when the cross guild was revealed and every chapter after that law vs blackbeard the landing on egghead meeting all the vegapunks this is it guys we are here we are the end some some of the only questions we have left to be answered is what devil fruits are and how they work what race did kuma belong to and who is emu who is Joy Boy? That's like five questions left, guys. We are we are seriously almost there. So I've been Merch Hunter Ricky. I'm an excited mofo right now. Love you guys. Sound off in the comments below if this was the chapter for you. The official release comes out on Sunday, but the raw release with the actual dialogue up on Reddit. Thank you guys. Thank you, Reddit. I don't really use Reddit, but I love Reddit for that. So mwah, have a good night.